Hey everybody, I noticed that my most popular video of all time on my channel is basically about setting up STB uh, for image loading and using images in your OpenGL. So I thought I'd make another one because the last time I made the video was like 2018, early 2018. So anyways, besides Learn OpenGL, which has a... Uh, helpful introduction introduction to learn open gl okay which has a very helpful introduction to um, texturing see textures and you go down through here and eventually it, i mean it actually teaches you about textures which is really great and then loading and creating textures and here's where it starts to show you about stb image Okay, so um, just looking at this this morning, STB, and I looked at this the other day when I was trying to do the free type and tried to get it to work. STB, you can download the whole code right here. You just click on code, download zip, and then it shows up as a master zip that you downloaded. And it has all these things. First of all, I don't know what these are. <laughs> but you can figure these things out. See, like you look at that, like STB image, and to get the STB image, you click on it, and what I do is, there's probably other ways to get it, I probably downloaded it when I clicked on the download, of course, but I just go raw, control A to select everything, go into here, file new, copy and paste everything in, save it as STB image H, and then you just want to put it in your include directory. You have to define STB image implementation before you include STB image H, and that sets up some of the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the STB uh, stuff. And that's pretty much it. In the class where I initialize the textures, and again, Learn OpenGL goes through this, and I go through this on my other video, but uh, just to show you really briefly what you do is uh, you generate a texture. In this case, I'm going to generate two, and that's an array, so it's going to put two unique unsigned integers that point to the texture in GL, OpenGL or whatever. Um, there's two different files that are going to load. I create a loop, loop through each one. If it's zero, it selects this texture, so it activate, you activate a texture, <coughs> excuse me, a texture unit, and then if it's, if it's not zero, then it's one, because I'm only doing two, so that's texture one that it uh, activates. Then you bind one of the uh, textures from the array to the texture. Any any uh, texture that you want to work with at the moment, you bind to GL Texture 2D. Here's where you set some other parameters. And I, I really haven't gotten into all these. I just use what works for my particular implementation. You can look these up, though, if you look up this command, GL Text Parameter I. So if you look up this command, and it'll go through how to what these are and what they do. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you come down here, load the image. So you just need a few variables to make this load happen. And uh, what happens is your um, your data goes into CSTBI load file name. And it's, uh, again, we're still in the loop, so it's going through each one. Width, height, channels. So those get filled with data. And then if data, so it's true, that's good. Then it fills uh, the texture with data right here. So your data that it just filled up from the file. These are some of the parameters you can play around with. And uh, most of you are probably going to want to look up GL RGBA, that parameter. And uh, it's in two spots. And then the width and height you set to uh, actually pulls that from the file. So that's very handy. And then generate map map which just makes it easier for rendering in the distance if you're going to put your texture on a 3D uh, plane and then have the player zoom in and out with the camera or whatever that generates the bitmap and uh, <coughs> makes it better all around. It'd be good to look that up and fully understand what that does as well. Um, STBI image free, that frees up the data once you're done and then it goes through the loop again and does it all for another texture. And then that's it. That is how you use STB, and then you can follow all the other instructions for
for manipulating and using textures in OpenGL. So um, if there's any questions about this, feel free to ask me. I have a Discord that's linked in the link description below. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm just going through my top 10 videos that have the most views of all time, and I'm going to do an updated video, um, assuming that I am not too lazy. So, <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. hope this was helpful to, to all of you.